Gemini, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for August the 6th to August the 12th. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you would like to. Um, yes, if you'd like to. And um, I have everything ready, so I'll start your reading for lovely um, Gemini. The first card you have here past is the Nine of Swords. So yes, obviously this woman's very tired, she's exhausted, she's stressed. Um, she's going through a lot of things, she's probably having nightmares. So I'm seeing with this card, you know, I'm seeing a really stressful situation um, and this has been dragging on for a long time actually. So, you know, I'm seeing a lot of exhaustion around you at this time, you could have been very exhausted. You just wanted whatever this was to be over. It's a big, long situation that was going on forever and ever. Um, I'm seeing this has probably been going on for many months, probably even a year. Um, and um, your energy levels were going up and down as well, um, each time you were feeling this emotionally. Um, and at this time, I'm seeing you probably came to a point where you're just feeling that, you know, you were just exhausted. It would never be resolved. You're at a very low point um, at this time. And sometimes, you know, when you're in that moment, when you're in a really dark moment, it can feel like, you know, things will never get better. You'll be there forever and ever. Um, but it won't. things do get better, you know, you do go up and down. And... Um, I'm seeing that you knew you still had a fight ahead of you at this time, and um, you probably still do have this fight ahead of you, I'm seeing. Um, uh, so, you know, if you're still going through this, if you're still going through this very, very dark time that I'm seeing here, um, uh, this strength will come back. I'm seeing your strength is going to come back. I'm seeing a positive outcome coming out of all of this. Um, I've seen this in a few of your readings. I'm see, I've seen this great big long um, struggle going on that has a positive outcome. But you still have a fight um, ahead of you. You probably still do at this time, even though this is in the past. You have a lot of difficult things to tackle um, before you get to this positive outcome. So it's not going to be in... I mean, you're not going to feel as bad as you were at this time. Sometimes you feel stronger, sometimes you feel weaker, sometimes you feel exhausted. It's a great big long process I'm seeing. You will get to the end of this, you really will. But I know when you're like this, it feels like you never will. That's what I'm seeing um, in this card. The next card you have your past is the Four of Pentacles. So yes, this situation, um, this might have had something to do with money, I'm seeing. And um, I've seen this before in your readings, that um, you felt as if someone owed you something, or you felt that, you know, they got away with something. This is something around money. It's probably other things as well, but money is some, has something to do with this. Um, it, it's like, you know, maybe they took something that was yours or something like that. And I'm also seeing that they could have been ignoring you. Maybe you were trying to contact them, or maybe you were trying to um, do something and they were ignoring you. Um, maybe they're ignoring your texts or something like that. Um, if you look at the man in this card, he has his back to the world. So this person, um, I'm seeing this person with their back to you, ignoring you. Um, and also they were trying to hang on to whatever this was, whatever they took from you, they were trying to hang on to this. And I keep on seeing money all the time. Um, yeah, and again, there is going to be a positive outcome. I'm seeing that after this struggle. There is a positive outcome. So I'm just, I just keep on seeing that and I want to keep on saying that to you because if you're going through this horrible time in the Nine of Swords, just know that this will pass. You won't feel like that forever. And I know it feels like that when you're like that. I've been through these kind of situations myself and you feel like, you know, this will never change. I'll always be like that. No, I am seeing a positive outcome. I'm also seeing with this card that um, you're a little bit worried about someone. Maybe you're worried about um, their safety for some reason. Um, you were caring for them. You were very. You do care for this person. You're worrying about them, caring for them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They might not have been sharing this or showing this to you, sharing how they feel about you. I'm seeing that they really. Um, this person really appreciates that. They really care for you as well. Maybe they weren't able to show that to you for some reason. But they did appreciate you. They did appreciate it. And um, I don't know why I'm seeing that they, they weren't able to, to tell you this for some reason. But, you know, I just wanted to... I was just seeing that message that they did um, appreciate you. And I just wanted to um, pass that on. Uh, the last card you have for your past is the Ten of Pentacles. So yes, I'm still seeing that, you know, you're caring for someone or you were caring for someone at this time. 
And I'm seeing you're also trying to build up something. This might have been financial. This was also emotional as well. You're trying to build up some um, something so that you could both feel stable. Um, and this is probably why you were so upset at this person who took um, something from you because they tried to take away not only money. I'm seeing it has something to do with money. I know I keep repeating myself, but I keep on seeing that. But also, um, they tried to take away your stability and they try to take away your and somebody else's stability. That's what I keep on seeing with this. So that's why you were so upset, because you were trying to build up the stability to help yourself and to help another person. And um, yes, that's what I'm seeing. So that was really, really upsetting for you. I'm seeing protection as well in this card. So yes, you're caring for someone, trying to protect them, because I'm looking at this arch and the arch protects people from rain or snow or whatever it is. So you could have been building up this stability for someone's protection. And um, yes, I see protection a lot in your reading. So this is you caring for this other person. That's what I keep on seeing. The next card you have for your present is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, you have a lot of pentacles. So there's a lot of money. That's why I keep on seeing money here somewhere. Not that you have a lot of money. I wish I could say that, but there's a lot of um, there are a lot of issues around money here and trust, money, people trying to take away your stability, and you trying to build that up to help yourself and another person. I'm seeing that all through this reading. Um, and yes, you are trying to be at this time. You're trying to be, or you are. Sorry, this is in your present. You're trying to be a rock to someone. You're trying to be a stage influence to someone and you're trying to be stable for someone you're just trying to be there for someone and um, you're a hard worker as well and you have a lot of stamina so you're willing to go you know take the long road you're willing to you know, do whatever it takes to provide that for this person and um, that gets you through a lot of difficult times. It gets you through a lot of difficult times. I do see that you um, have a lot of ups and downs emotionally, but you still have this stamina behind you. You still have this hard work backing you up. So even though you go through these times, you know that you're strong, you can get through things. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing at this time, you are looking up towards stability. So you're still trying to um, build this stability up. You're trying to um, provide that for someone else. This is what you want, like this Gemini. Sorry, Gemini. Why am I saying that? Because you're Gemini. Why did I say that all of a sudden? You're looking, you're looking up toward this um, coin, like this um, page is looking up toward this coin. And yes, you're Gemini. I don't know why Gemini popped in my head because you're Gemini. That's so strange. I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with another Gemini. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Gemini popped in my head. There's some other Gemini that's very strong around you for some reason. Maybe this person is helping you, I don't know. But yes, you're trying to get the stability I'm seeing in this card. You're looking up to it, this is what you want, and this is what you want for you and someone else. I'm also seeing you having to be careful um, with someone, very gentle with someone, very gentle with someone's feelings. You're being very careful with what you say. It's kind of, you're, you're thinking that, um, I have to be very careful with what I say and what I don't say around this person. So it's not like you have to change yourself. You don't have to change who you are around this person. But um, I'm seeing someone might have some health problems or they might have um, some kind of medical problems. They might even have mental health problems. That might be why you have to be careful what you say around them. Or they could be very sensitive about some kind of health problem. Um, so you have to be sensitive toward this person and um, that's what I'm seeing with that card because look at how sensitively and gently this page is holding up this coin. That's what I'm seeing and maybe this is the Gemini. I don't know why I kept on seeing Gemini. I'm still seeing another Gemini apart from you in this reading. I don't know if that's going to resonate but this is just popping into my head. The next card you have for your present is the Five of Pentacles. Yes, this is the reading of pentacles. This is the reading of money. So yes, again, I know I keep on repeating myself, but I do see, um, I am seeing a good outcome eventually with this struggle. Obviously this card is about struggles again. 
um, and um, uh, yeah, there is going to be a good outcome eventually. But until then, I'm seeing that you're going to have to be um, a bit careful financially. I'm seeing that, yes, things are going to be a little bit tight for you. Um, you're not going to be destitute, it's not going to be as dramatic as I'm seeing in this card, but you're still going to have to be quite careful with um, your spending. You might have to move some money around to cover things, cover bills, something like that. You might have to just be very careful not to spend on things you don't need to. You might have to stick to a very tight budget. You might be doing things like meal planning. You might be, you know, have a certain amount you can only spend on certain things. It's going to be a bit tight for you. And I'm seeing that it probably will st still be a bit like that until you get to this outcome. And this is going, to, it's going to be a positive outcome. I keep on seeing that. But things are going to be tight financially. It might be a legal thing you're going through. That's why you might have to be paying someone legally. I don't know. But you are going to have to be a little bit careful with money at this time. The last card you have your present is the lovers. So yes, um, for single people, if you're looking for a relationship, I'm seeing that you know you might have two options. There might be two options around you coming to you. You might have to, you know, you might have um, two people to choose from. I wish that was happening to me. It isn't happening to me. So these two people um, that you have to choose from, um, I'm seeing one of them might be a totally new person, but another one might be someone that you actually know. This might be an old friend. This might be a friend of your family. Um, I'm not sure if you're actually ready for any new people at all at this time. You've got this great big struggle. You've got a lot of things um, that you're spending a lot of time on. You have a lot of stress still going up and down in your emotions. So maybe you're not ready for someone. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yes, what I'm seeing is one of these people you know you've known for a long time and you might just be starting to realize that they have um, romantic feelings toward you. The other person might just appear out of nowhere all of a sudden. This person might just appear because I'm looking at this beautiful angel and it's going to be like you know suddenly I won't sing but it's going to be like I won't have any subscribers if I sing but it might be like you know suddenly something appears out of the heavens and this person comes and appears in front of you and you're so surprised, you're just taken aback. So yes, a totally new person is going to suddenly come in to you. One person, yes, there's a lot of noise. One person's very um, stable, you've known them for a long time. This other person that appears, it's going to be like, wow, for you. But um, they might not be the most stable, solid person. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have your future is the King of Wands. So yes, this is you at this time. You're starting to get your energy back. You had a real, um, you know, you had no energy in the Nine of Swords. You're just completely exhausted. And now at this time, you're starting to get some of your energy back. You're going to be very focused. You're going to be ready to just get this thing over with, this situation over with. Um, but... <sighs> This is going to be quite um, frustrating for you because it's not good. It can't just happen. You can't just say, oh, I'm ready for this to happen now. I want the result now. I'm going to get it now because that's what I want. It's not going to happen like that. The result is going to come at the time it's ready to come. It's not going to be at the time that you would like it to come. I'm sorry to say that to you. That's what I'm seeing. It's going to happen eventually. Um, it's going to take some time. It's probably going to take a lot longer than you would like. Um, but while you're in this energy, while you've got this energy, this is the time for you to do a lot of work on this. So, you know, call people, find out things, go and research, go and do what you can, get your papers in order, you know, try and um, get some whatever you need to do. Just while you have this burst of energy, make the most of it. Do what you can. Because, you know, I do see that you do have these bursts of energy and then you lose energy again and then you have bursts and then you lose energy again so while you're in this make the most of it that's what I'm seeing and again don't be frustrated because I know it is frustrating and I know you might be suffering financially and all of these things but the ending is going to be positive I keep on seeing that the next card you have for your future is the eight of wands 
So yes, I'm seeing this could be the time when um, this new love might be coming in very, very suddenly because the Eight of Wands is all about quick things, fast communication, things happening really, really quickly, speeding up. And that's what I was seeing in the Lover's card, that someone was going to come in for you very suddenly, you know, coming out of the heavens with all the angels singing and all of that kind of thing. So this person's going to be communicating with you quite a lot at this time, I'm seeing. Um, they're going to be, yes, they're aiming for you. They want you. They're going to be aiming for you. I'm seeing these are, um, I'm seeing these ones as arrows flying through the air. They might be Sagittarius flying through the air. I don't normally say signs. I'm seeing signs all three through this. If I see them very, very clearly, I say them, but usually I don't. This could be a Sagittarius. I'm seeing that quite, um, quite clearly. Um, yes. So they have these arrows flying through the air. And they're aiming at you. You are their target. They want you. They want you. That's what I'm seeing. They might be a little bit full on for you. They might be a bit much for you, a bit enthusiastic. I'm seeing a lot of very intense feelings coming from this person. And you're going to think they're wow, amazing. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for future is the Knight of Wands. Here we are. So this is this person. They're rushing in. They're going to rush in. They're very passionate as well. Uh, they might be rushing in a bit too quickly for you. It might be a bit overwhelming for you. You might be bowled over by this person. Now, this is what I'm seeing in this card. Don't be upset because um, this is someone who uh, you do have very intense feelings for. They have very intense feelings for you as well, or they're going to at this time. This person might be a little bit bored easily. This person is someone who comes in. They have these amazing intense feelings and then they don't really last. They don't really, I'm sorry, this is what I'm seeing. Um, and so they might be in quickly, out quickly as well. They're not the most stable person. They're someone who is fun, they're amazing, they make you feel fantastic. They're not someone who is going to give you the stability. I'm seeing someone else who is going to give you that stability. They might already be around you. This is what I've seen in the lover's card. Um, you might know them already. They might be a very um, quiet person. Maybe this person was in another one of your readings. I'm seeing the same person. This is the person that's going to give you the stability, not this person in the Eight of Wands. So if you do have two people to choose from, that's what I'm seeing. If you want stability with someone in love, um, you might, I think you should choose this person who is a friend. If you want just a bit of fun, go for this person in the Eight of Wands. That's what I'm seeing. So Gemini, I hope this resonated. Uh, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.